It's 2020 and there are some powerful analysis tools available to SOLIDWORKS users to validate their product designs. Hi folks, this is Arun Tharaviyam with Go Engineer, and I'm talking about Simuliaworks, the cutting-edge simulation program powered by the Abacus Solver. With the ability to solve large displacements, complex contact and materials, this program introduces some powerful technology to simulation users of SOLIDWORKS. In this video, I'd like to address a few frequently asked questions and showcase some powerful features in the program. Let's take a look. We are able to access a wide variety of elements like the popular TED elements and the widely sought after hexahedral elements. Hex elements enable more control over the mesh quality, the density of the mesh across the thickness, and also enables quicker simulation. Here I have a rubber bellow that I'd like to mesh with hex elements. I'm able to accomplish this using the sweep mesher. I can specify the sweep direction, the element density, and the number of elements across the thickness, ensuring good quality results. Besides this, I have access to a wide variety of local element types from Abacus to tackle complex problems with accuracy. Introducing the Material Calibration app. With this app, I'm able to import a stress-strain curve and determine an appropriate material model for metals, plastics, and rubbers. Here, I'm able to convert the material test data for the SAE 1018 material. This involves just a few steps. I first import the test data from an Excel file. I then correct the data with the inbuilt features, like shifting the curve to the origin and deleting the necking data. Finally, I choose from the several material models that are available in the database. Since this is a metal, I'm going to pick the elastic plastic model. And finally, I initiate the calibration. The red curve is generated by the chosen material model with some default coefficients. This curve should match up with the experimental curve in black, thus validating the coefficients of the model. Once the calibration is complete, the material is saved to the database for the analysis. With the SOLIDWORKS connector, users are able to maintain associativity between their CAD and the simulation model. Here's the bellow that we meshed earlier. This was uploaded to the simulation environment through the connector. I'm trying to evaluate its performance to improve the design. I have the contacts, boundary conditions and the mesh settings already complete and I'm trying to avoid redoing this setup for a design change. Let's start by updating the sketch in SOLIDWORKS to reflect the new design. I can then push this update through the connector. After the update is complete, you can return to the simulation environment and refresh the simulation. Once the session is refreshed and reopened, you will notice that the model is updated but the mesh hasn't. Hitting the update button will update the mesh, the boundary conditions and contacts to fit the new design. I can then rerun the analysis to evaluate performance. There are workflows available to maintain a history of the revisions that the model has undergone and their associated analysis as well. This way, users are able to compare designs and pick the best version. There are several features in Simuliaworks that enable SOLIDWORKS users to perform complex structural analysis. If you'd like to explore any of these, please contact GoEngineer.